Okay. So I arrived. Fagamata. Is that how you pronounce it? Fagamata. 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 I I can't I can't use do the right tone for that. I I don't know. It's so hard. Um. So this is almost five thirty, and I'm doing. It's gonna be very short. This is gonna be very yeah. So I'm doing dinner now. So today I supposed to make pasta with tomato sauce and some salad and goes with salmon. And it turned out that the, the team doesn't like salmon. So they bought some chicken, which is good. I mean, they have put more protein than better fat. Okay. So they go that chicken tender. So chicken tender is something good, but aware that um, all the meat when before you do anything, you make to make sure they are clean. If you try to wash, you wash it. And the next thing is to dry out. You have to absolutely dry out all the meat. And yes. So before you do anything about chicken tender, the one thing is you have to cut them, chop them into finer pieces. So the rule about cutting chicken is you got to go diagonal with the fiber on the chicken. Whereas beef or pork is the opposite. You have to be perpendicular. Um, because that affects the texture of the chicken. And chickens have to be very, very fine, very, very thin. Um, so you have to slice in the cross sections like that. So you know, norm normally when you marinate your chicken, you probably put a lot of sauce, sugar, whatever. Um, we are after, so we do them very, very raw. We just put salt in there. From the first time, we just cut it. Chops. It's always give me a surprise. Every single kitchen has something very essential and they don't have it. Uh, we just marinated chicken, salt, peppers, and put some oil to seal up the flavor in the chicken. So we put it aside for 15 minutes. After Man and the chickens are found out there's a chopping board. It's right next to the rubbish bin. I don't know why they put it next to the rubbish bin. I have to wash them out <laughs> carefully, okay? So while the chickens marinating, I just prepare the salad, open the packet, put it in a big bowl. So I will chop up some capsicum, red pepper, and what else? The onion. Red onion, so those are good. And also, there will be tomato here. There's a tomato, I saw them just. Ah, yeah. Tomato. And let's put all of them and mix them in there. And then afterwards, just mix with olive oil and some very simple sauce with lemon juice okay i chopped all the onion capsicums and tomato into the salad so um they bought us a big capsicum two of them so i don't need that much and i only used half of the red onion it is too big so which is good we can use that for the chicken and that's it i just add the to uh, lemon juice with um, extra virgin olive oil, which I don't use that one, I use my own one. 
So I got the olive oil here and normally I use a, just a glass. So I've got three to one portion of olive oil to lemon juice. So about that, maybe a little bit more. And we have lemon here. Okay. Just chop the lemon. that they have these things. Ta-da! So we got the juice here and we mix it in. <laughs> oh, that looks like one-to-one -one ratio. Let's get more off. There we do. Look at that. And we find a fork and just stirring it. Here it goes. I cut sea salt. And pepper on a sticker. Oh, and then <laughs> all the flavors in. And then we mix them thoroughly <laughs> using the hand. So the salad mix well and I put it in a container which fit everything. I would say we probably cook the sauce and pasta first and then we do the chicken now whenever we cook pasta what we do is we separate two pan yeah. one is for the pasta and then the other one for sauce yeah. we don't mix them until the pasta cook no. cockroach yeah. go away oh you want to cook okay um i can turn this one a little bit down yeah because normally italian they don't use very high heat too for the sauce they use very low heat okay but they have to boil the water put some sea salt and then put the pasta in. Okay. So after 80% cold, they will add the pasta water into the sauce. Okay. And then put the pasta in and then mix the sauce well. So that's how we want to do it. So one thing is uh, whenever I do some sauce, uh, add a little bit garlic, but, but okay, we don't cook with the garlic. We add it in, we take it out. Yeah. We don't eat with that. Okay, um, so because I just do it in the Italian way because Italian they don't want they don't like eating garlic. They like the paste but they don't want to eat them. Unless you mash them, but I don't do that. Um, so one thing what you do, easy. If you have big life you just bang on it. If you don't have, just use your hand to squash it. All the flavor will come out, and then the skin will be easy to peel off. Uh, it's a very traditional way of doing it. Okay. Yeah, I just talk about why they don't have range wood, and then they got a fire alarm. So the other thing is the left front stove. When I turn to low heat, it's still high heat. So I quickly swap the other one. It will be burning further. Okay. Now, um, I slowly, while it is cooling down, I add a little bit of oil. Pour it over, a little bit of olive oil. And we take out the burnt pieces and the garlic. It isn't burnt too bad actually. Saucing.
stir up it. This time really low hit, very low. Hopefully it doesn't upset me. Now the low hit stove is for your heart, so now we can put in the salt. Sorry. <laughs> Pasta in. I'll probably just leave a bit more water. Like so. That's like a little Uh yeah, the chicken's mostly cooked is not fully cooked. But in case you got the sauce, you just cook with it. Oh we're gonna do the sauce separate. Oh you wanna do the sauce separate yeah. and put it in. Oh you yeah. don't wanna mix it. Okay. Then I will just add it in. So now because of bacon need a uh, slightly higher heat, so I just separate it. So now I just do the bacon and then add the chicken in and then finish it off. So the final bit, mix the chicken with the bacon and slow cook it then for another 5 minutes. So the last thing, um, I just quickly finish off the remaining wet pepper and the onion. So now we do the remaining veggies. I would say yes. Light sugar in and turn it down. All good. I'm oh, sorry. Let's just get this in. everyone here before eating <laughs> okay so let me start in Jojo's white rice cooked by pot so who, who say that we have to cook with a rice cooker there's no rice cooker here someone able to make it well done um, pasta tomato sauce uh, luckily I luck finally remember to put some basil in there. Um, salad tomato capsicum red onion uh, with some lemon juice and olive oil. Oh, just a mixture of leftover veggie. Don't worry about that. Protein, <laughs> bacon, and chicken, tenderloin, some pepper, salt, nothing more than that. It's for bodybuilders. <laughs> Sweet and sour sauce with pineapple and extra pineapple. I've got this for breakfast yeah bagel with um, peanuts some bananas good for rice lots of iron and muffin Jeez. the last frozen thing yeah. frozen wedges <laughs> cooked with microwave i learned something again so well done <laughs>